All right, guys, for Kage here, and welcome back to the brand new video. Here we are, so leveling a rise will be the topic. It is weekend, so today we're gonna do the community highlights. We're gonna go into the forum and we're gonna check out all positive and negative ways, uh, or, or better to say, all, all positive and negative uh, posts for soul leveling a rise. Mainly, I want to check out some crazy summons because I already saw it, and oh boy, I cannot believe people are pulling that craziness, honestly. Uh, before before we start, we're gonna also open up the lucky box, okay? Before we start, we're gonna open two lucky boxes. Who knows, I might get, get lucky. Guys, leave a like, subscribe. Make sure to support me in Content Creator Program. I have so many codes left. And we're really close to that top rank top 10 ranking, which I absolutely appreciate that. We are rolled to 500 supporters. So click in my description below and as a pin comment, click on the support and booyah. That's it. You will get a bunch of codes because there is so many more missions and as well massive shout out to my top supporters okay now let we open up the lucky box and uh, let me go one by one who knows i might get lucky uh, okay please give me 50 limited tickets can i get that oh it's two okay it's better this than nothing at the end of the day okay now let's have fun in this part okay so let's go english general and let me check out what people are saying and what people are posting at the end of the day. Kazuya, uh, he managed to get the gear for Gogan He with a defense percentage plus three and additional defense right here. Well done. Well done, Kazuya. Uh, that is nice. I'm jealous, but yeah, that is, that is nice. Um, okay, let me see. A perfect artifact, but... Okay, let me see what what do we have here so we have after hundreds of roll i got this perfect artifact so attack percentage damage increase defense penetration and critical hit damage uh, should i enhance it and due to rng doesn't go to the critical hit damage then what the current piece i'm using is op and i'm afraid to enhance it due to the rng bro good luck you have to risk it this type of stuff when you manage to get the perfect artifact you have to risk it got lucky again let me check out this one internet connection is so bad today i'm not at home so it is how it is whom should i put this on uh critical hit damage plus three additional hp uh well 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 uh MR cell, yeah. Uh, this is greet, right? Greet artifacts. So of course you're gonna use it on Emma or cell. They scale from HP. Plus you got plenty of critical hit damage. That's extremely lucky, my bro. I don't, I don't believe it. People are getting so lucky. Uh, da, 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 da. Then we have that another part where people are getting shafted. I believe so. That's that. Uh, at least I got increase plus one. Look at this. So he needed that attack percentage, uh, but unfortunately, every everything went to additional defense and damage increase here. Potentially, you could use this on, on go because you could go curse and greed. Although in most of the times, I use full greed set. I didn't even test so much. Uh, okay, then we have this. Thank you. Well done, Sang Su Ho. You managed to pull Zekka's Fragment, one of the best weapons in the game, especially when you dupe it out. It becomes really busted. Now look at this crazy summons, guys. Hey guys, this is my first post. I got these three SSR cards in just 30 random draws. Uh, yeah, so he managed to pull what is this multi? How guys you're doing this? Like generally from the beginning of the game, I didn't, I didn't manage to pull the triple SSR, but well done. Well done, you pulled the Moon Shadow, Cha, and Zekka's Fragment. Wow, <laughs> that is incredible. GG, my bro. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, game damage, okay, let's see this one. Game damage and uh, free-to-play discrimination. Dear developers, if you're making a time arena for one element, then make everyone equal. Why don't donors and those who even bought subscription cut damage like free to play? I'm just tired of the fact that I'm first Grimoire doesn't sh shoot mobs at plus seven like those who bought subscription. Duh, I wouldn't be fair. Uh, dear developers, if you're making... Okay, this was a little bit weird because 
it's okay. Uh, but I understand what you meant, my bro. Let's see this one. Uh, people are quitting the game, but not in this guild. We are recruiting. Okay, so you can join that guild as well. Uh, let's see more posts. Baron story mode in the brink of time. So he managed to beat it just 0.38 seconds. So less than a second, guys. And he managed to beat Baron. Pros, shout out to you, my bro. Suddenly, Jim Vu is underperforming. Since the last couple of days, Jim Vu is terribly underperforming, even with the same gear, skills, and blessings, irrespective of the team. I'm, n I'm not able to touch my own uh, Battlefield of Time score, no matter what combo I try, and the same case with POD and others. The only difference is that he's leveled up. Precision didn't change much, it's still near 90%, but instead of get getting stronger, he, be he became way weaker. Anyone, anyone else uh, facing similar issue? On the other hand, I'm su suddenly seeing lower battle tier players suddenly doing significantly more damage in these modes. Okay, mm, I double check your setup. I truly believe maybe when you play the guild boss, maybe everything you put uh, in some other stats or something like that. That that's the same happened for me. Um, okay. A proof of the strong level 1 and 2 Iberg boss, that's really good. Well, can't complain about Sang Jin Vu anymore. Uh, a lot of talk while ago about Sang Jin Vu being more of a support. Recently, I feel like the numbers of my hunters in POD has been quite meh, and they stand a stare a lot. Guess that was the fix Netmarble did. Uh, well, it really depends on the setup, how you use it. Um, really, that's pretty much it. Let's see, scam, scam, scam. This game is the biggest scam of all gacha games. This game is so buggy. I use the artifact ticket, but it doesn't have the artifact. Why? The latest tree update is my moon shadow animation buggy. Why? Is this too hard to fix it? Only amateur working for this game, I think. Um, yeah, the, I don't know what to say. They done many fixes, but they still have to do a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah, this is one of the parts. Look at this. Yeah, here it is. RNG Jesus. When you try to craft the almost perfect artifact, then RNG hits you right back. Yeah, he managed to go to additional MP plus four. And he had the perfect artifact right here. Yeah, that's that's a slight problem. You get the perfect artifact. I already talked about that, so. Uh, hey, I'm asking you seriously, is the Netmarble even team doing well? You created an event to get artifact crafting tickets, but still 11 days away. And you gave us four tickets and there is nothing left. There is no more event to get more tickets. The recent events are so ridiculous. Mm -hmm. They should give us more tickets for sure. Just because of that reason that most of the time that leveling up certain substats, it won't go so well. Um, I hope they add a big content addition before too long. Let me check out this one. I like this game and I do hope they add lots of available content or free roam uh, mode or something. Bosses or, or Workshop of Brilliant Light times six bosses or something. Otherwise, the current direction and condition is wait for the new campaign and that's it. No current goal, none. I agree. The game is pretty dead currently. Like, let's get real. It's pretty dead. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me see why I can craft. Okay, let's go to the help me improve jump. Yeah, this, this is also trash when it happens. This is so trash. So you finally manage to get the legendary one. And then you get that legendary rune that almost never and maybe even never you're going to use. So that's that. Mm. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me see a few more things. I stopped playing the game. It's not solo leveling anymore. Yeah, after spending quant uh, quite a lot of money in the game, I'm quitting. It's definitely not solo leveling, we all knew. Every single update the game gave us a ton of su stupid sexualized characters who are not even relevant in the actual story. They have trans tarnished the monarch's name by giving us stupid weapons and bikinis. They should rename the game to Solo Simping instead. Well, on that part, I cannot disagree. <laughs> I, I cannot disagree. Mm, let me check out like a few, few, few more on the page 5 and we can end it here. This was the community highlight uh, video, just sharing the stuff, what community is saying, 
and that's it. Please do not ban me. Uh, the, your game is full of bugs. I just cleared Baron Heart, and the second phase was inexistent. The fight just ended with the first stage. <laughs> that's bad. That's bad. And then you get like banned because the system is like, yo, you cheated. Uh, on another hand, there is people who are saying no box 100%. A big thanks for solving this loading issue. You really made this my favorite game. Good for you, Paul. Paul. Mine is still here. So yeah, for some people, it got better. For some people, it's still not the best. Um, I don't care if they banned, but solve the problem for, of our fellow banned players. Please, Netverbo, avoid it. The storm will just grow stronger as much you avoid it. Please at least make a notice if you're finding it difficult to solve. We understand it. First, we had so much friendly interaction. You solved everything within a minute, and now you're avoiding the biggest problem. We're not mad, people, that you would not understand what you're going through. We know developing is a hard job, so please maintain interaction like before and notice us about ban issues. I agree. It's all about the transparency at the end of the day. Uh, okay, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. Something different, um, although I've done already many community highlights, but still wanted to show you that positive and negative sides. I want to show you the craziest luck that people are getting on the artifacts and as well on the summons. That summon with the moon shadow with the Zeka and the Chai is probably one of the best summons I saw ever, like ever. Okay, guys, love you. Thank you for all the support. See you next one. Bye.